Welcome everyone. So I'm going to be covering Smeargle. This is going to be a very, very interesting video. So um, before I get into it, I just want to preface that, um, you know, for new viewers that this is a ROM hack of Pokemon Ultra Sun. And the main objective is to make every single Pokemon viable, unique, and fun to use in a in an in-game context in a Nuzlocke. Uh, it's, balanced, it's balanced with hardcore Nuzlocke in mind, but of course, play however you wish. It's just balanced with that in mind. Um, and all of the Pokemon and the power levels of said Pokemon are much higher. Um, there's 130 plus completely custom new moves, as well as every other move is like buffed or changed in some way. Uh, 28 plus new abilities, all kinds of really awesome stuff that you can check out. Um, you can find all of that information in the description below. There is a detailed Google Sheet, like the one I'm using right here, where I have all of the changes that are currently finished on the sheet. Uh, I have a detailed move guide, I have a detailed ability guide, all kinds of awesome stuff, okay? So feel free to check that out, and now let's get into it. So Smeargle, okay? We all know Smeargle was dog shit. The only situation where it was ever good was VGC because it had Dark Void, and then they fucking nerfed that. So, And also, this is in-game stuff, and Smeargle is an absolute nightmare to use in-game, and it's never worth it because of how garbage its stats were. Um, I mean, it literally only has 20. It, it's terrible, and I understand that, yes, in real games... Um, hold on, I have to... Um, sorry. Put my Discord away so I'm distracted. Um, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, Smeargle was bad, okay? In game, it was terrible. Obviously, in competitive, it's a little better because you can kind of just hack on or instantly teach it whenever you want to teach it. So, most important buffs here, okay? Stat buffs, it has actual stats now. Amazing, two new amazing new abilities. I said new twice. And then, um, it learns every single TM and Tutor move. And I understand that that might seem kind of cursed to some people. Um, I totally get it. But that's literally just a quality of life thing because you can get all those moves anyways via sketch, so why waste the time? Um, and in this hack, normally I list out all the moves as you can see here, but obviously it has no room for me to list out all 170 TDMs and tutors. So um, if you go to, if you, so you can actually click this two ways. Excuse me, I did not mean to click this, I held it above section. Um, so if you click the cell, you can just jump straight to the TM guide. Um, that's also on this sheet. And you can see all of these moves. So Smeargle gets every single one of these moves. Um, I'm going to briefly just touch on all of them. So utility-wise, he has, you know, Work Up and Door Protect, the Weather TMs, the Terrain, two of the Terrain TMs, uh, tons of tutor moves that are useful, like Recycle, Skill Swap, Trick, all kinds of Stealth Rock, all kinds of cool stuff there. Um, Roost for healing, as well as Synthesis for healing. Rest and Sleep Talk. Taunt is huge. Parting Shot is huge. Prankster Screens. That's another thing, is by the way, all of these moves work with Prankster. Yes, I chose to give Screen World two abilities, uh, Prankster and Versatility. I think both of those fit very well. Um, and it's far from overpowered because his stats are not that great. And there are tons. Like, the, 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 if you're new here, the power levels in this hack are so high to the point where Prankster Smeargle is nothing crazy at all. Um, especially because sleep is actually guaranteed to last two turns now. So if you're using Prankster Sleep, you only get one turn of sleep to set up with. Essentially, you get a full turn while they're asleep, and then that second turn, they'll wake up, but you'll be faster, assuming, if you're faster. Um, so that's really awesome. Um, so you can totally, like, Prankster Sleep or something if you want and then set up. Uh, you get a free turn to set up all kinds of stuff. Um, Smeargle, of course, can get literally any move in the game, but realistically, via TM and Tutor, it has Nasty Plot, Calm Mind, Bulk Up, and Swords Dance, as well as Dragon Dance, and uh, Dragon Dance, Calm Mind, Bulk Up, Swords Dance, Nasty Plot, Work Up, and then it also has Z Sketch to give it plus one to all of its stats, um, which is available from the very beginning of the hack. So most likely I'll make it available like after Hala on like Route 4 probably. That'll be the earliest, maybe a little bit later. We'll, we'll see when, when these Pokemon get placed. But he'll be roughly, like, or the, at the absolute earliest, it would be post the first Totem. At the absolute latest, it would be um, post um, Hala, which is probably better for it anyways, because pre-Hala, it only has so many things. It only has normal moves. Um, and then a cup, and then like the weather TMs, terrain TMs, and work on the stuff. After Hala is when you get all of the tutor moves and you get all of the insane coverage moves. So yes, Smeargle does, oh, this is the wrong guide. Uh, Smeargle gets insane coverage now, of course it always has, but now it can actually abuse those. So its other ability is versatility. So Prankster is amazing for utility, okay? Prankster, you have all kinds of awesome stuff. You got, you know, literally everything in the, in the game, okay? Every single move in the game he has with Prankster. Um, but realistically, because one thing I need to mention is that sketching is a lot more difficult now because in this while Pokemon are all caught at level 5. And that's a quality of life thing, because if you were to catch up, let's say, you know, for example, I designed these level up moves to be, you know, like for you to be able to pick between all these options, right? So if I made a Pokemon catch up at level 29, say, for example, fucking Stantler, I'm just going to randomly pick this one because it was the first month before this, he would, he would start with 
Flavor versus Lear and Slack Off, you don't get the pick. You're, you you know you miss out on moves because there's no actually there's no movie learner in uh in Gen Seven until the end of the game. So it would be absolute garbage if Pokemon were caught at any other level. You can't you miss out on a lot of really important moves. And you could argue, oh, I could balance it, but then to be caught with that in mind, no. It's easier just to have them caught at all level five. Um, in this hack, you train with something called a training candy, which is literally just a rare candy. You use that, and you use the EV training items, which instantly EV train your Pokemon, and you use ability capsules, infinite use to switch between your abilities at will. Not just once, but you can switch between them. So in Smirko's case, that's incredible. Basically, for one fight, you can run Prankster, Utility, Charm, Parting, Shot, Encore, whatever. Next fight, you can run versatility with just four offensive moves with with z sketch plus any three coverage moves on the planet and you get plus one attack plus one special attack plus one speed plus one defenses and you get literally any coverage move by a tm you get tons of amazing coverage moves by tm and in, in tutor in tutor literally every single type in the game you have at least two uh both physical and special moves uh for every single type and i could literally i could waste the time going through all of it but i, I won't should I? I'll do it at the end. I'll do it at the end. So if you want to listen to that, you can. But I'll just get into the important stuff first. So yes, Prankster and Versatility are incredible. I think both of the abilities fit very well. Prankster fits because, you know, he marks graffiti and you know, all that kind of stuff. And then um, also because I wanted an ability that was just as good as Versatility. Because yes, for those of you who are wondering, I did I did have Trace at one point. Because Trace is a really funny pun. And it's a pretty good ability. Um, and it has a lot of strategic implications. But I opted to go with Pranks and Versatility just because it's a lot better. Um, Trace is awesome, but it's better on Pokemon with good stats. And Smeargle's stats are very solid now, given the fact that he learns literally every single move. And that he has an Omni Boost move. And he has two incredible abilities. And he could stab on every single one of those moves. So yes, of course, Smeargle's a great Pokemon now. But... At the end of the day, Trace is kind of mid on it. So versatility, you would be running versatility in 99% of the cases, and you would only ever use Trace for like gimmicky, like a niche strategy, which is cool. But Prankster is a lot better for that. So yeah. Um, and then as for versatility, the Dex does say, well, first of all, he's extreme, he's literally versatile. Um, and also, if you aren't familiar, versatility is Protean. So yes, he will get stabbed on every move. He changes to every type uh, before he attacks. So. Um, that's already, he's obviously a very versatile Pokemon, so it fits already. Um, but also, there is a Dex entry talking about how he changes, like here it says, the fluid of his tail secretions change and the intensity of you as its emotions change. So that could also be like the color changing aspect of versatility, although that's not really the logic of it anymore. Because that wasn't even the logic for Greninja. Um, the logic for Greninja was, he's a ninja, and I believe versus, I believe Protean literally just means versatile. Uh, or versatility or something. It's, I just made it make more sense, because people usually associate Protean with like changing colors, but that's actually not the case. Um, uh, Greninja got it because he's a ninja and he has like he's like versatile and he can do a lot of different things um, and that's why other Pokemon will be getting it it kind of can be just be thrown on any Pokemon to be honest um, which is the beauty of it but yeah amazing in Smeargle's case all right um great stats 70 70 70 I actually initially had 65 and everything and 95 speed um 95 speed is great for versatility sets um and it's a lot more balanced but then with prankster of course you get priority on all your status moves um you don't get priority baton pass though that's a balancing thing baton pass is minus six priority so it does make speed baton passing a lot less overpowered so for example you can't use z sketch get plus one to all your stats and then baton pass with priority and get plus one to any pokemon you can still do that you would just have to take a hit um so you get the priority z sketch and that's really good because z sketch actually bypasses taunt now because well it already bypasses taunt but it actually goes before taunt in general in any other move so say for example the pokemon in front of you is faster you can click Z sketch, get that plus one priority, uh, plus six priority, excuse me, plus four, whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is it moves before most moves besides maybe protect and fake out. Actually, yeah, I should make it plus. No, I remember why I made it plus six. I made it plus six priority because it's also easier to sketch moves that way. And yes, I understand that sketching moves is very hard with level five mons. I'm sorry I'm moving all over the place now. There's just a lot to talk about. Um, there's both a lot and not much to talk about at the same time. It's kind of an interesting situation. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's why I want Pokemon to level five. You can... That way you can rare candy them up or training candy in this case. You know, let's say you're level 25 and you catch a Pokemon you want to use, or you're doing a Nuzlocke and something dies and you add it to your team. Then you can just training candy it up, get it on, get it caught up with the rest of your team. And then you just will naturally level up and be on on, on par with the level curve, uh, which is cool. Um, so that's all great stuff, okay? Uh, but the, the, the side effect of that is, yes, Smeargle is not only going to be able to sketch. Like, the only move Smeargle can really sketch off wild Pokemon is priority moves and then, like, a couple of utility moves, like Growl and Tail Wag and and other randoms the hard and you know little, little setup moves like that otherwise he's pretty much only sketching priority moves which is good especially with um versatility so he can sketch literally any type of priority move off of any wild pokemon very easily um which is awesome but other than that sketching moves is very difficult so there might i if i have the room i'll ma i'll maybe make one of the grass patches in the hack i have a ditto guaranteed so that way you can easily sketch moves and also just if you really wanted a ditto for something i guess um although there is still the ditto side quest so that's not an issue it's mostly just for sketch if i can find a spot for it 
I'll do it, but encounters are already going to be very uh, crowded, so don't get your hopes up on that. But it's possible um, to make one specific grass patch have a ditto guaranteed, and that way the ditto will copy one of your Pokemon, and you can then sketch the move off of that Pokemon um, reliably, which is uh, something, you know, good that it has. Um, but overall, you you could literally go the entire game without ever using sketch, besides for Z-Sketch. Like, you could go the entire game without ever intentionally using sketch to teach a move, and you would still have amazing moves because you have all of those incredible TMs as well as some really good level up moves. Um, level up moves, you mostly, you mostly just have stab early game, so you have like fake out, uh, double slap to 60 base power overall, uh, guaranteed two hits, you know, 30, 30, 30 base power per hit. You have tail slap, which is a little bit stronger, but un, uh, inconsistent. I just give it fitting moves, like, you know, tail slap, double slap, tickle, all those moves are fitting, you know, uses a little paintbrush. Same with whiplash. Whiplash is very powerful, it's 85 base power, minus one defense. Um, and then you have like flail for like, you know, Endure sets or something if you wanted to run that just for flavor um, and then your utility you have access to of course obviously Z sketch you have encore and tail wag um, tail wag is another very fitting one because he has a little tail a little tail right there um, and he's a dog as well um, and then he has a uh, tickle which is really good with prankster that's minus one attack and defense and you have charm and befriend which are charm is still charm and then befriend is the special version of charm so those are great with prankster as well you again have roost and synthesis via healing for healing via tm and tutor um Copycat is Z copycat gives plus two attack, so you can get you can use that pretty early on, uh, as opposed to Swords Dance later on, which is a nice option. And then Z Mimic does the same thing as Z Sketch, plus one to all your stats, but the move can be like it's actually situationally better than Sketch. It's just there for flavor, anyways. It makes sense that he would learn Mimic, um, so that's cool. Um, it's situationally better than Sketch because Mimic permanently learns. M M Mimic is like Sketch, but it goes away when you finish the battle, essentially, for a regular Pokemon. So you could technically use that to your advantage instead of only teaching Z sketch. Also, yes, Smeargle learns sketch once per level, guaranteed, which is very good. Um, you know, that uh, it's it might get kind of annoying, but again, uh, I, I believe, I, I'm not positive, but if you have sketch, at least, um, let's say, the thing about learning Z sketch, sketch at least, every level, is that you can use Z sketch for every boss fight if you wanted to, and just get plus one to all your stats and use versatility and just spam coverage moves and sweep. Um, obviously, late game, it'll be harder to do because that plus one attack with versatility, you're still strong, don't get me wrong. 70 base attack with the stab, excuse me, I started. The stab on literally everything um, is strong as hell. Like, it's not like that's weak. 70, 70 base is very reliable. Again, I did consider 65, but I opted to give him 70 just because it's fun and, you know, it fits pretty well. I mean, he's, he doesn't look that. I don't know. It's Smeargle, man. Who cares? Um, I think anything higher than 70 would be really, really weird, though, for attack and defense and HP and stuff, because he isn't very that large. That was not English. He's not very large. He's only four foot tall, which is actually bigger than I expected, but that's why I went with 70 instead of 65. And then I was like, okay, make everything else 65 as well, 70 as well. 95 base speed is also very fast with versatility sets um, and Z sketch. Again, the, the beautiful thing is you can just cycle between any three coverage moves and then Z sketch and just, especially in like the early game, like for Akala Island boss fights, you can totally just sweep a lot of trainers with Z sketch plus coverage moves because you have literally every coverage move. So I'm going to cover some of those now. But lastly, before I do that, actually, I want to talk about Imprison and Baton Pass. So um, because Whiplash is great, you know, it's 85 base power minus one defense move. That's great. Uh, you know, it drops the defense each time. That's great for stab if with prankster sets or something. Um, you also have normal moves via tutor as well. Um, but yeah, imprison is awesome uh, because you can teach literally every TM and tutor move in the game. You can pretty much shut down any Pokemon that has all TM and tutor moves. Um, so that's really cool. That's something you can really take advantage of with Smeargle. I believe I made imprison priority as well. Although with prankster, it would be priority anyways. Um, yeah, it is priority anyways. Um, And only Smeargle and Mew have access to in prison now, um, which is very fitting, of course, because they both learn every single TM and tutor in the game. And Smeargle actually learns even more moves than Mew, technically via sketch, although it is a lot more difficult to sketch moves. Also, one thing I want to mention, this is like a behind the scenes tip, I guess. Um, I will not judge you if you hack on sketch moves, as long as they're legal. So say, for example, you're doing a hardcore Nuzlocke and you're using a, you know, you caught a Pokemon that learned, let's say I'm just going to scroll. I'm just going to scroll blindly until I find a random mod. Okay, let's see what we landed on. We landed on Pinsir, okay? Let's say you want to sketch fucking Final Gambit or something, okay? I don't, that's just not a good example, but you understand. Or Power Trip, that's a better example. Let's say you want to sketch Power Trip off a mod. Um, so if your Pinsir is level 60, um and you finally learned power trip and you taught power trip i think legally you should be allowed to hack on power trip onto your smeargle now because you have that move on another one of your pokemon legally and if you're not doing a nuzlocke then you can pretty much just sketch any legal move obviously you can't i wouldn't endorse hacking on fucking shell smash at level one but if you have a 
Shell Smash Pokemon at level 65, by all means, go ahead and do that. And yes, Shell Smash Pickle was very strong with versatility and 70 base offenses and 95 base speed. It can literally become any type in the game and learns every single move. So yes, that's an incredible offensive threat. Even just with Dragon Dance, it's great. Um, as well as with Swords Dance and Nasty Plot. Um, it's so versatile. I love it. It's such a fun mon. Smeargle is genuinely extremely easy to use now because of these uh, changes I made to the way it works. And I love that. I really do love that. It seems like you could, again, I'm going to repeat it again. You could literally never use Sketch intentionally, meaning you could never use Sketch to teach a move and you would still be a great Pokemon the entire game. So yeah, that's, that's in prison. Great move right there. And then bat uh, Baton Pass, again, it is negative priority now, but the fact that you can Baton Pass Omni Boost or any other boost, you can Baton Pass Nasty Plot, Swords Dance, Calm Mind, Bulk Up, all of these other fucking setup moves, Cotton Guard, whatever you want to sketch off. So you have all the TM's uh, Baton Pass moves, and then you also have Sketch Baton Pass moves. Um, and of course, the Z Omni Boost Sketch move. Uh, the Sketch move gives you the ability to Baton Pass Omni Boost as well. So the point is, you can do a lot of awesome stuff with Smeargle, and... Um, it's a great Pokemon, like extremely, extremely good now. Um, it's not anything broken. It is, it, it is, you know, it's not that bulky, so it's hard to switch in on battle. Um, it has no resistances besides the immunity to go, so it's hard to switch in for free. But again, it has immense utility. Even just using it as a utility mod, like Prankster Screens, Prankster Parting Shot, Prankster Charm, Prankster Befriend, that's amazing stuff that it has access to. Um, in fact, even it's, it's great, it's really awesome uh, and very useful. So those are all also, you know, even just prankster screens with Tom Pass, uh, sorry, parting shot right out of there, get them the minus one attack, and now you can just set up set up another mon, you know? All kinds of really awesome stuff you could do with Smeargle. You really love to see it. It's awesome. Um, now I'll quickly just cover all of the um, coverage moves it has now. Of course, it has every move in the game, but in terms of TM and Tutor, which is reteachable whenever you want, versus having to tediously sketch it on or hack it on, and that's a whole process that you can totally do, but, you know, if you don't, I won't blame you. Um, let me go to the hell items. No, sorry. Uh, TM and tutors, yeah. So, you have every you have so many great coverage moves. Okay, you have. I'm just gonna go in descending order. Okay, from mo the late game TMs until now. So you have close combat focus blast, Stone Edge, Mega Horn, Power Whip, Mega Ton Kick, Hydro Pump, uh, Strength, Giga Impact, High Ever Beam. All these moves are buffed and changed. You can literally see that what the descriptions say they do now. By the way, if you want to look at the screen, otherwise you can always pause or you can again go to the Google Sheet in the description and check these changes out for yourself. Um, Fire Blast, Hurricane, Blizzard, Thunder, Earthquake, Solar Bloom, Solar Blade. Sludge Wave, Take Down, Rock Climb, Wild Charge, Play Rough, Bulk Up, Calm Mind, Swords Dance, Nasty Plot, Iron Defense, Endeavor, Foul Play, Gunk Shot, Hell Thrust, Iron Tail, Aqua Tail, Zen Headbutt, Drill Run, Dragon Pulse, Dr uh, Hyper Voice, Earth Power, Heat Wave, Sky Attack. I'm just listening every TM and then I'm going to end the video off because I just want to give you an idea of how many fucking moves this guy gets. I mean, of course he gets every move, but in terms of strong moves that he can just reteach whenever the fuck he wants without having to tediously go through the process of sketching it or opening it up, PK opening up PK3DS thinking about what moves you can teach it and then putting those on it, even then that still feels kind of scummy. I would do it, I, but I'm gonna probably do that. If I get a Smeargle in my Nuzlocke, I'm doing that, all right? And this is, the, this is the hack creator endorsing that. Of course, don't do it to an illegal move. Don't, you know, again, like I said, say that a Pokemon on your team learns a move at level 70, you know, don't sketch that move on, don't hack that move onto your Smeargle at level 40, that's cheating. Uh, but if you can technically legally sketch that move, because it's really hard to sketch moves, if especially, if, okay, here's what I'll say. If I don't put that ditto in there, if there's no grass patch with 100% ditto, yeah, 100% sketch on move, uh, hack on sketch moves, 100%. You're already going to need PK30S to unlock Mega Evolution anyways, because it's not possible for me to uh, make the flag uh, unlock naturally throughout regular progress. You just use PK30S and take a locks, and that's it. And if you're downloading this wrong hack, you 100% have access to PK30S. It's extremely easy to use. I'll even make a tutorial. Um, if you're using P uh, cart, like custom firmware, it's also very easy to use PK30S. It's slightly longer. It's like two extra steps. You take the fucking flash drive out of your fucking put the SD card into a flash drive and you put that in your computer. It's like three extra steps. It's not that big a deal. Um, and that's that's for if you're playing cart. Of course, most, most people will be playing emulator. So, And that's literally just two buttons. You just open up the save data and edit the, edit the moveset. Um, so that's awesome, all right? Yes, you get uh, back on topic. So focus punch, acid reflux, spiteful spell, flash cannon, lunge, first impression, acrobatics, blaze kick, rock polish, surf, natural gift, sludge bomb, energy ball, flamethrower, ice beam, thunderbolt, Retaliate, Sucker Punch, a Rock Slide, will o -Wisp, Aura Sphere, Psychic, Shadow Ball, Mystical Fire, Seismic Fist, Nature Power, Steel Wing, Dark Pulse, Thunder Wave, Mer Burning Malice, Scorching Sands, Agility, Substitute, Smart Strike, <sighs> Home Claw, I feel like I'm fucking rapping, yo. Uh, Home Claws, <laughs> Shock, Hex, Charge Beam, Power Punch, Rage, Scald, Weather Ball, Aurora Veil, Dazzling Gleam, Toxic Spikes, Parting Shot, Reflect, Light Screen, Shadow Punch, Poison Jab, U-Turn, Volt Switch, Taunt, Hidden Power, Sleep, Rest Talk, Roost, Sleep Talk, ra Rest Talk, all right, same shit. <laughs> Roost, all all five of the fangs, uh, Psychic Fangs, Ice Fang, Fire Fang, Poison Fang, Thunder Fang, Electro Web, Icy Wind, Water Pulse, Giga Drain, Sigma Beam, Covet, Knock Off, Drain Punch, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Seed Bomb, Iron Head, Stopping Tantrum, Liquidation, uh, 
low kick stealth why am i doing this i feel like i just have to finish i've committed and i've committed too far to listing them all <laughs> Uh, low kick, stove rock, magnet rise, trick, skill swap, recycle, gravity, laser focus, tailwind, pain split, synthesis, bind, bounce, bug biting, snore, Draco jet, shockwave, fire pledge, grass pledge, water pledge, ominous wind, rock tomb, bulldoze, grass knot, brick break. And then pre holla, if it is obtainable pre holla, which it probably won't be, you have grassy terrain, hail, sandstorm, sunny day, rain dance, protect, endure, and work up. All right. Absolutely amazing Pokemon here. Really fun to use. Again, 70 base power with stab on any type, and you can literally teach it any single TM and TM and TM and tutor you have. It's awesome, all right? It's really, really good and useful and fun. Also, again, all tutor moves do cost 1 BP. And something I 100% encourage is just once you go, whenever you go into your files to, um, whenever you open up PK30S to enable Mega Evolution, go to the fucking, the BP section is in the same exact fucking menu that you use to edit the Mega Evolution Unlocked tag. Just put a 999 BP to make your life easier, unless you love Mantine Surf and you don't mind Mantine Surfing for fucking 20 hours. Um, or you just don't mind never using tutor moves, which is a really bad idea because I did balance Pokemon movesets and I did change Pokemon movesets with the idea in mind that you're, you're switching between TMs and tutors, not just TMs only. So obviously it's a little bit more of a process to go to the tutors, get to fly to Big Wave Beach or Heia Heia Beach or Ula Ula Beach, and then post game the Battle Tree, but it's not that big a deal, you know? something I would still do. Yeah, I think that's honestly about it. Just a great month. Again, at 95, here, last thing I'll do is I'll talk about how strong it is with the boost. So 70 attack at plus one is really good. Um, with the neutral nature and max investment, you're at 358 attack. That's over 110 base attack um, with, a plus, with a plus attack nature. So like an adamant Pokemon with like 112 base attack is probably going to be around 358 attack. So that's strong at plus one. Of course, that is at plus one. But the fact that he gets stabbed on every single move in the game makes him, makes him a very good offensive mon. And then the fact that he gets prankster, so he gets priority on every status move, makes him a great utility mon. And you have both in one, so it's a really great and fun to use Pokemon. Um, the only downsides being its stats are still a little mediocre um, on paper, and switching it in is kind of difficult because it doesn't have that many resistances and it's pretty frail. But you know, sash, you have you know dual screens, pranks. So you have so many ways to make yourself bulkier, and and it's such a fun mon, man. This is going to be such a you know the rewards. Skillful play, or you can just use the Z sketch versatility set and just swap the three cards moves and never ever use Prankster and just Unga Bunga. Um, if you want to do that, of course, I would recommend utilizing both prank, uh, Prankster and versatility because that's how you get the most leverage out of your Pokemon. And it also depends on your other teammates and stuff. Um, I would say early game, though, especially like in the mid game, versatility is very powerful. Late game, it's, you get really powerful moves, like high base power moves, so it's still good. Um, yeah, I think I covered everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, all I ask for in return uh, is that you do subscribe if you listen this far and you're new here. That would be very helpful and nice for me. It would also be good for you to see more updates from this project. You can also, again, join my uh, Discord server. Actually, I didn't say that before. I mentioned the uh, Google Sheet. That's what I was going to say first. Google Sheet, all these changes are in the, uh, in the description. Linked to Google Sheets is right there. You can look at all these changes and all these other Pokemon. It's super awesome, super detailed. You can join my Discord server if you have any questions. You can join my Discord server to talk to other people. You can join my Discord server to get more information on the hack. You can also join my Discord server to play my older hack called Baron Black. It's also an Ultra Sun hack. Um, more information about that in my uh, Discord server. It's about a year and a half old at this point, so it is a little bit outdated. Um, not nearly as good as Sweltering Sun, but it's still a great hack. I enjoyed it very much, and I think you would too if you're uh, really waiting to play Sweltering. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it off here at risk of talking too much. So I hope you guys enjoyed my fucking move wrap, and I hope you guys enjoyed these changes. I definitely do. I think Smeargle is one of the biggest blow ups. And also, fun fact, has the highest stat boost out of any Pokemon in this hack. Uh, Delibird is base 150 plus, like 150 base stat total. Smeargle has 195. Uh, he is by far but probably going to be the strongest uh, base that total increase in the hack which is kind of funny um his net total isn't that good though i mean it's 455 the reason he's good is because of the move set 445 excuse me he's good because of the moves right and the abilities the abilities and moves are incredible the stats are not that great on paper and they're still solid and they're good enough so yeah i think that's about it so uh i really appreciate everybody listening and i will be back for more goodbye everyone